This video will show you how to download, install, and use Focusrite's AAX-supported RED2 and RED3 plugins with Pro Tools 10 or higher. These plugins are available now to all registered users of Scarlet, Sapphire, Forte, and Claret interfaces from your Focusrite.com account page. If you haven't registered your product, you can do so now. This video will guide you through this process. If you have already registered your product, click on the link in the video to skip forwards to downloading the plugins. To register your Focusrite interface, open your web browser and navigate to www.focusrite.com. In the top right corner, select Register Product. Select your product from the product drop-down list. I have selected Sapphire Pro 40, but you should select the interface that you are trying to register. Next, enter the serial number. This can be found on the underside of your Focusrite interface, as shown in the image. Next, you should enter the email address that you wish to register with, then click Get My Stuff. If this is your first time registering a Focusrite product, you'll be asked to enter your first name and last name and to create a password for your Focusrite.com account. Select your country and choose whether or not you wish to subscribe to email updates. If you already have a Focusrite.com account and you haven't signed in, you will just be asked for your account's password. Then, enter the security code and tell us where you heard about us. Next, enter the bundle code for your Focusrite interface. This can be found on the card that came in the box, or if you have a Scarlet Solo, on the inside of the top flap of the box. Finally, answer the remaining questions about your purchase, including where you purchased the product, and click Submit. Now you'll be taken to your Focusrite.com account page. You will also reach this screen if you've registered your product and have just signed in to your Focusrite.com account. Click on Downloads and Activations under your interface and click to download the installer for the RED2 and RED3 plugin suite. At this point, you should also click and highlight the activation code and copy it to the clipboard by pressing Command and C on a Mac or Control and C on a Windows computer, as you'll need this later. Select the Mac or Windows installer depending on which operating system you are using. Once the plugin is downloaded, you'll need to run the installer. I'll first show you the Mac installer, followed by the Windows installer. From your downloads folder, open the RED2 and RED3 plugin DMG. A window will pop up, and you should double-click on the RED2 and RED3 plugin suite installer PKG file. Next, you'll be guided through the necessary steps to install the plugins. Once you've read the license agreement and you wish to proceed, select Continue and then Agree. Click Install and when prompted, enter the password for your Mac, followed by Install Software. On Windows, Open the RED2 and RED3 plugin suite installer EXE 
from your downloads folder. Click next, and once you've read the license agreement, select the accept option if you wish to proceed, followed by next. Choose where you wish to install the plugins folder to. In most cases, this can simply be left as is. Next, the installer will ask you where you would like to install the VST versions of the plugins. This doesn't affect using the plugins with Pro Tools, but if you're going to be using the plugins with any other DAWs, you may wish to select your default VST plugin folder if it differs from what the installer has picked up. You'll then be asked which components you want to install. For Pro Tools, you require the AAX plugins, so make sure these are ticked. You can choose whether or not to install the VST plugins depending on whether you're going to be using another DAW. Once the plugins have installed, you can start Pro Tools to access the plugins. Create a blank session or open an existing session where you wish to use the plugins. To access the plugins, navigate to the Insert section in the Pro Tools Mixer by clicking Window, then Mix, or add the Inserts menu to the Edit window by going to the View menu and selecting Edit Window Views, then Inserts A to E. Click on an empty insert slot, select Plugin, then Dynamics, then the RED3 compressor. You'll then be prompted to activate the plugin. Enter the email address that you registered with, Then click on the paste button to paste in the activation code that you copied earlier on. Now click activate. You will now have full access to both the RED2 EQ and RED3 compressor plugins, allowing you to process your recordings with the sonic qualities of legendary Focusrite RED hardware. The RED3 compressor can be used to process the dynamics of your recording. From the presets menu in the plugin, you can select a preset for the instrument you're processing or simply tweak the controls of the compressor until you find the sound you desire. The RED2 EQ can be used to adjust the frequency content of your recording. It's accessed by clicking on the insert slot in Pro Tools and selecting plugin, then EQ, then the RED2 EQ. Again, there are presets available for typical instruments. The RED2 has six bands, allowing you to fine-tune the sonic characteristics of your recording. There is a high and low pass filter, high and low frequency shelves, and fully parametric low mid and high mid frequency bands. These plugins are also available in VST, VST3, and AU formats, if you wish to use them in your other audio software. So there you have it. You're up and running with your Focusrite RED2 and RED3 plugins. Thanks very much for watching.